horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Whenever I make a recipe using almond flour and I upload it on YouTube, the first comment invariably is, Ooh, can I make this with coconut flour? And then I'll upload a recipe using coconut flour and the first question is, well, do you think I could make this with almond flour? And then I have to explain to people that coconut flour is not the same as almond flour. You have to change a couple of things around and so on and so forth. Now, on the last episode of the show, I made coconut flour pancakes. Click here on the i button if you haven't watched that recipe yet. And of course, I anticipated that the first question I would get asked is if they could make it with almond flour. So here I am today and we're going to be cooking up some keto almond flour pancakes. Yep, you heard that right. It was expected, so here I am. We're making almond flour pancakes. I was going to say waffles, but I've made almond flour waffles as well. You can click here and watch that recipe. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's go and make those keto almond flour waffles. Pancakes, pancakes, damn it. Pancakes. We're making pancakes. So the first thing we're going to do is take about 50 grams of cream cheese and we're going to pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Once that's done and the cream cheese is nice and loose, we're going to pour in about 50 mils of heavy whipping cream. And then we're going to whisk the two together till it forms a nice creamy mixture. Then into this creamy mixture, I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract, followed by two whole eggs. And then give it all a good whisk. And as always, I'm going to stop because I forgot to add the stevia. So I'm adding two or three drops of liquid stevia and then whisk it all together. Once that's done, it's time to add in the dry ingredients and I'm adding in about 75 grams of almond flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt and some pumpkin spice mix. Now, if you don't have pumpkin spice mix, you can use cinnamon, you can use any kind of seasoning that you like or you can just skip it completely and then I'm going to give it all a good whisk now I realized that the batter looked a wee bit thin so I added about 25 grams of almond flour to the mixture and then gave it all a good whisk and it was the perfect consistency that I was looking for now it's time to fry the pancakes and I'm using my non-stick skillet which I will spray with a little bit of olive oil. You can also use butter, you can also use ghee, you can also use coconut oil. Once it's nice and warm, I'm going to pour in that batter. And then just like the last video, I'm using a lid to cover it and let it cook. I feel this helps it cook quicker and also when you flip it over, it does not splatter all over the place. Anyway, there's nothing to do now except just let the pancakes cook. It's very simple, you pour the batter, you cover it with the lid, you let it cook. Once it's done cooking for about three minutes on one side or maybe four, you flip it over, you let it cook for another two minutes or so, and then you get it out on a plate. And then you just repeat this process as you go along. Oh, and a fun little fact, I pretty much made up this recipe as I went along. Anyway, all my pancakes are now cooked and ready. And I'm going to pour some of that lovely sugar-free maple syrup or maple flavored syrup rather onto it and a nice knob of butter and there you have it my friends our keto pancakes made with almond flour are ready anyway enough jibber jabber it's time to taste and just for whatever fun i'm going to cut it all together and stick it on a fork and give you a nice close-up of it anyway time to taste Alright folks, so here we are and it's time to taste the almond flour pancakes and look who's back. It's my dad, Mickey Makija. So dad, this is almond flour pancakes with sugar-free maple syrup and some butter on it. And there's a little sweetness in the pancake from some stevia and there's a pumpkin spice mix in it. So yeah, dig it. Sounds complicated. Let's hope it tastes good. You know, if you had not given me that whole history geography of the recipe, I would have thought it's a good dessert because it's got a, it's got a lovely, you know, like a, uh, like an almond rock kind of uh, texture of the almonds in it, and the sweetness is not that 
oh god too sweet it's just the right amount and there is no aftertaste which is the most important part of all these things that this boy makes when he puts these stevia normal things that we people don't eat yes yeah, so the it's the sugar free maple syrup that's made with monk fruit sweetener that is great and that doesn't have the aftertaste um while my dad really enjoys the nuttiness of the pancake i will say that it is my one complaint that i didn't grind the almonds fine enough because i was uh, in a hurry to make this recipe and i didn't go out and buy the pre ground almond flour but it's still delicious if you like that sort of nutty texture it's really good but if you use like the uh, store bought almond flour it will be less nutty and less like it will be more smooth than like a pancake like to my mind that graininess adds body to the whole pancake it's not that smooth a uh, batter kind of thing mm. so i like it i mean it's a personal choice all right so my dad's given the verdict he likes the pancakes i give you some tips and tricks on the website if you're looking for the macros and the written recipe go to headbangerskitchen.com and i will see you on the next episode of headbangers kitchen cheers and keep cooking hey folks before you go make sure you hit the like button on this video subscribe to headbangers kitchen and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video If you like what we do you can also buy a Headbangers Kitchen t-shirt links in the video description box below and before you leave i have a quick question waffles versus pancakes which one do you prefer and why let me know in the comments below